Good afternoon, viewers. There, my name is Emro Nondu Paraka, the West Night Pride, uh, West Night Indian Air West is Big Boy. Of course, TTV Live, I uh, have some players. Of course, I will be getting your representative uh, from uh, the team that has traveled to come and play in the third uh, round of 32 a Uganda Cup. That is Younger Elephants, all the way from Noya. They are going to be playing against Dove FC, uh, based in Masindi here. I have one of their guys right here in the studios. He'll be introducing himself and also the role he does in the team. Then I will be getting you more and more of what he will be uh, talking about. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone who is watching. Uh, we are live on TV and uh, representing the team, Young Elephant. Today we are in action. My name is Adiken Zuki, and I hope to answer you well. Thank you. Okay, Adiken Zuki there uh, for you from uh, Young Elephants. Young Elephants, uh, what do people outside there, what do you think that they need to know about Young Elephants? Yeah, Young Elephant, we are, we are a team in a big league, and today we are in action. Round of 32 Uganda Cup, and we are looking forward to win the game because it's very important for everyone who is watching, for those ones we are left behind, for the team to progress. It's really key for us to go strong today and win, and uh, that is the main thing. That that's why we are here today, and we pray that God will help us be on our side and we win the game today. Okay, uh, I understand. I uh, get into the round of 60, uh, 32 uh, as you are coming from the round of 64. You did beat a team called Chireka United all the way from Kampala. That was three goals to one. Uh, what is that big thing that you feel you're going to add in today's game? Because the side you're going to face also beat Kataka, a one nil, a big a league side here down in Masindi. So what is that uh, exceptional thing that you have on board which you feel that will earn you the bragging rights uh, this evening? Yeah, it's a good question. Today we, we come in strong. Uh, with the fact that our technical team has been has been reshuffled and so many changes are made, especially in the team. And uh, the, the, the last game we played against Chireka, we didn't have my squad, we were, we, were, we were few, the players were not enough. But today, as I talk, we travel 21 players, which means we almost have the maximum number of players which are recommended. Then uh, with our technical team, they all came together to make this selection. So I believe they will come out with the best 11 to represent the team. And we are coming so strong. We made preparations. We trained almost two weeks because of this fixture. Remember, we were supposed to play the big league games. Then it was adjusted over these games, over this Uganda Cup. So today is going to be the dream come true game because we believe Dove, Dove, Dove FC is also a better side. They eliminated the Kataka, which is also a big league side. So it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy, but with the experience we have in the team, we have made more recruitment as well this January. So we are feeling stronger. We're feeling stronger today. Okay, it is not your first time to face a team uh, from Masindi. Aboma FC, which is in the big league, uh, did travel there and gave you guys, I think, two goals to one. Yeah, that side. Uh, what is that perception that you have of the Masindi teams? Because you have already lost one at home and you're traveling to play another one day here in Masindi. Don't you feel that uh, there is some respect you need to give the Masindi teams? Yeah, definitely we give them respect. The fact that they started producing good teams, we are starting with Chitara, then you come to oh, to Boma FC. These are all outstanding clubs. Then again, this Dove also is coming up. The fact that they beat Kataka, everyone knows them all over the country. So we give them respect. The fact regional league team coming out up to the round of 32, that's a big effort, big effort that they put. And uh, I believe they also made preparations, but like I said before, hey, we made a lot, a lot of preparation, making sure we win the game today. But we respect them. We are going to approach them with respect. We are going to give them the fact they are home and and they will have every favor. But uh, still, as a team, as young elephant, we have also prepared ourselves as a team to make sure we face them. They are a good side. That's the truth. You know the team you're facing is a good side. You know the squad you've traveled with. You know the vibe in the team. If someone told you uh, what are the scores you expect in today's game, which correct score would you give a view outside there? The, I, I, I may not be perfect in giving the correct score, but uh, we are going to win. That's the first fact. Then the second one is that them being at home, they will have powerhouse fans and so much more. I believe they will also score. So uh, from me as me, I think we shall win 3-1. They will hope <laughs> score also. Okay, uh, the game will be ending 3-1. That's according to uh, Dickens there. Do you have any uh, last comment for the viewers outside there? Yeah, for the viewers outside, 
Uh, it's going to be a tough game, but like I said before, we have made also better preparation. We are facing a better team, so it makes it all fantastic. We only hope for the best today. Thank okay. you. So, thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. That was uh, Dickens uh, there for you. And of course, I'm going to be uh, getting to the next person uh, live here. And he's a very uh, big uh, name when you talk about Ugandan uh, football. Uh, he's a very big name we you can never fail to mention uh, when you're talking about uh, football it made in Uganda. And of course, he's in the studios right here already. And he's called uh, Dennis Okot Ola. And you've seen him play uh, for KCCA, Ondu Paraka, Abul, uh, the uh, Acholi Province team. He has been with the national team for Sekafa. So very experienced a uh, guy in that game. And I think he's now a retired man. Maybe if he's just to play uh, these other uh, small, small corporate leagues. But he should be retired from active football. Our court is right here in the studios. I'm going to be getting him to uh, to say hi. Then later on, I'll be getting you the questions uh, right away here for him to get you the answers. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I'm so delighted to be live on TV today. Um, Dennis Okot, as you have said, a.k.a. Ola, uh, the famous one. I'm so glad to be in Masindi for, I think this is my fourth time since we have come here in 20, 2022 for drum and uh, yeah, drum. Then today I'm here again. Okay, a coach as uh, the coach of Young Elephants. You're facing off at Dove FC. It is not your first time to hear about this team. Not your first time to be in Masindi to face uh, these teams. What should you expect in today's game according to the preparations you made ahead of the game? Yeah, indeed. Uh, as I was a player, I, I didn't, I did not lose any game in Masindi. So I think as a coach, the mentality is still on. We have come to win, regardless of the circumstances or challenges that the, the team will going to give us. And uh, it is, a, it's going to be a very tricky game for us. You know, playing a team from the regional league, it is a tricky one. They want to show that uh, they are the best, but I know we are the best. So we have come here to give a very good show. We are not just going to come and play because we want to win. We also want to, we also want to entertain the fans. We want to give them a good football. The knowledge that we had, the, the, the players should have to display it out. It is not only the results, but we also want the fans to enjoy. You know, when all the teams are playing good football, they will enjoy. But we may score 10 goals when they're all accidental games, I mean goals. So it is not nice. We want to construct, build from behind and make sure we win it in a sweet way. We don't want to gamble. We, are, we have come here to win, nothing else. You know Uganda Cup, there's no tomorrow for it. It is today. So that is it. You have not lost in Masindi uh, before. Which teams have you played uh, before? And uh, of course, how did the games end? Uh, of course, uh, when we came here for drum, we made a draw. So I expect... Even in Oima, I think, uh, let me say Bunyoro land, we banged uh, Bunyoro 2-1 there in Oima. So I've never lost a game here. So I expect as a coach, the spirit should continue in me to make sure my team wins. As a, as a player, I won everything here. Now as a coach, today is my first time. I really pray to God that the players should give a good show to make sure we win. Okay, our coach Dennis Sola, former at KCCA, Ondu Paraka, uh, Bull side, the Acholi Province team. He has not lost a game in Masindi before. He is not expecting to lose. He is facing off at Dove today. Away from head coaching, of, of course, that is uh, younger elephants, we have seen you uh, playing in different uh, teams and also different leagues and also at the national level. Your experience in active football and experience outside football, how do you find the two are relating themselves? How was life during active football? How is life after active football? Yeah, of course, when I was playing, uh, I didn't experience pressure so much. But now, when I became a coach, there's a lot of pressure, you know. The, the demands of the game is all on the coach. However much you train, the, the players hard, but if things didn't go on well, everything comes to the coach. That is the experience out of my active football. But as a coach, as I told you, there is pressure. But you know, when you uh, when you 
do on everything well in football, automatically results will come. And I believe, as my players said before, we have uh, prepared for this game very well. And indeed, we are supposed to have uh, our game big league, but uh, the, the schedule for the fixtures was changed, and uh, that's why we are here today for Uganda Cup. Yeah. Okay, Okot, we have seen a lot of national icons, guys who have actually played football at the national level. After that active football, we have seen a lot of them are struggling out uh, with life. How do you find that? And what do you think the country can do uh, to really uh, make sure that guys who have really done a football at the national level, who are national icons, can inspire the younger generation? Because we have seen a lot of guys struggling after playing even at the national level, which demotivates our younger boys around who would want to play at that level. What do you think that the country has to do uh, to make sure that uh, the national icons in the football motivate the younger generation? Yeah, thank you so much for the question. Uh, I'm so glad that I'm one of them. Uh, indeed, uh, there are two different types of the icons. Uh, those who played in the 90s and uh, this current generation the difference is in the 90s there was no money but currently in our group at least there was some money that if you wise at least you will save something and build for the future so for the the one who, the legends who played uh, in the 90s i really want to ask uh, our federation wherever they are they must be identified because others are dying without respect yet they did a lot for the country Currently, uh, we were in the current uh, generation. I also appeal, if you're still active, because some other players whom I played with, they're still active, they are playing. They must advise the young ones whom they are playing with to save money and also make use of the money well. Because life after football, if you have not prepared well, that's where madness comes. And that's the reason why other people are moving on streets begging, because they were not prepared. But at least now, uh, uh, clubs are trying to pay. They are paying at least some good money. However much you save 100,000, that is enough for the future. We know we have a lot of responsibility around, but also try to save for the future. So my appeal is, we who are in the current uh, generation, as a coach, I will also try to tell my players that life after football, if you don't prepare well, it's not going to be an easy one for you because for example, we were in the scene. All the women were ours. Others were coming for money. They were coming for fame. But if you f put that fame, that now I am a famous footballer, then at the end of, the, uh, at the end of your retirement, that is where we will start facing problems. Because all these people who are coming for fame, they need you because of the money. Others will not love you or need you because you're a superstar. You're a superstar, they know a superstar must have money. So. I also advise we who are in the generation now, it, is not on, it, 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 it should not, only, should not on, only be coaching, we must also be teachers, we must teach them. Outside football that when you get money, make use of the money, make use of the money very well. You may see the 100,000, the 200,000, the 500,000 that they are paying you as salary as if it is little because you are the one putting the demand on you. You may find a superstar having like six girlfriends and in a month you have to play it for the six family at home they were also demanding for your help that's why after maybe retirement others will be like it is a mistake for them you'll find that okay i'm out of football but i have nothing you may even fail to buy a plot of land when if you're making transfer the so we should save yeah, that was, uh, of course, uh, Dennis Okot there, Ola, a veteran player. He has featured in different clubs. As already told us, uh, for the legends who played in the 90s, of course, even in Masindi, we are blessed to have some of them. We have got uh, uh, Francis Kulabigwo. He was in that squad of the AFCON, which was in 1972. That he, a squad of AFCON, that is uh, Frank Kulabigwo, right here in Masindi. Uh, it's so, so, so sad that we lost uh, our own. Ajime Mugua was also among that team. 
And now we have uh, Baker Kasigwa, the only uh, bare-footed uh, Uganda Cranes star who featured in the Olympic Games uh, way back in England, 1956, is still uh, existing here in Kisalizi. Uh, those ones, according to uh, Dennis Sokot, he says a government should really trust for them and see how best to help them. But the active players, or the ones who are played in the current generation, as you get the little money that you get from the clubs, uh, which is not little, you save some part of it for your future and not uh, regretting uh, in the future because we have seen the players trying to hustle after uh, retiring from active uh, football. That was uh, a big message uh, for the players there who are still in active football and uh, the ones who have been in the active generation and uh, the previous generation. I believe government uh, will really get this point when it comes to tracing for the legends and seeing how best to help them out. Now, besides that, uh, what other general uh, thing do you have for the uh, sports fraternity who are missing you, the fans there? What do you think, what, ex uh, what should they expect uh, from you uh, besides uh, living active football? Of course, uh, I've passed through very experienced coaches who knows football so much. And uh, I think uh, what I've passed through, I have to deliver to the boys to make sure they also get what I was in before. Because uh, I played under very many coaches. Uh, one among all is Coach Mike Mutebi. He's a very good father. I was a son to him. I played also under the national team coach, Micho. He was a father to me. I played under coach Mole Boekwaso. That one is a brother. I also played, uh, my first uh, league match was under a Serbian coach in SC Villa when I was got from Gulu United. He was also like a father to me because he's the one who spotted me from Gulu United. And all in all, what I passed through under them and what they were telling me, I think, uh, I did it as a player, but now the task is, uh, since I am a coach, I want also my players to pass through the same. I don't want to be jealous. I want to tell, I want to show them the experience that I passed through to make sure tomorrow there will also be coaches. They will also say the same that my coach, who uh, who gave me a lot, was Coach Okot. He did, he does this for me, and indeed I will be very happy. Because uh, I remember when uh, I, Coach Mike heard that I'm a coach, he was very happy. He said, now I want to see what I have taught you. I want to see good football. I want to see you entertaining the fans. Because when I was a player under him, the first statement he made was, you first play good football to entertain the fans. Later on, goal will come. And indeed, you saw how KCC was playing. We could first do the tic tac way as he was saying our way there's a way we used to play our football and indeed the years that i was in kcc i was uh, a successor everything was well when he appointed me as the captain of the team no one couldn't believe i could make it as a leader but he told me you were born a leader and indeed i trusted the task that he gave me and uh, I did a lot of wonders in KCC, and they must remember me in that. I don't want to force it, but those who were there, the fans who were giving us support, the management, my chairman, uh, Julius Kabugo, he knows my capability. So I'm here as a coach. I want to do the best. Indeed, I want to try my best to make sure I have left the team. I have come back home, not because I, uh, I don't have where to go. Personally, I was supposed to, to be at KCC because I'm a coach. They know where they, should, they are supposed to put me. But I've come back home. I want to leave the team. Uh, I joined Young Elephant uh, in the regional league. The first season when I came in, we went up to playoffs. I was denied by uh, um, a team from Lira Northern Gateway. We went, we came back, we prepared for the second, uh, uh, the next season. We played well until I made the league, I mean the team, Young Elephant, to qualify in big league. And now we're here. Though we are in the red light, this, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are starting the second round of our, of, of our league. It is really a very big task for me 
We want to uplift the team, not to be relegated. That is the target of which I am sure. I'm sure that uh, the boys are tuned and we shall fight hard. I am not good, but the right thing that we are going to do will make us be the best or remain in the league. Okay, that is really a great uh, moment, uh, great comments for the guys outside there, most especially uh, the sports fraternity of uh, the younger elephants. And of course, uh, you've said you did it as a player, you want to do it as a coach. We are seeing uh, David Obua is doing some work with uh, URA. Uh, of course, some good Tic Tac football is there with URA. But we have also seen uh, players who did uh, good active football but have not delivered as expected uh, uh, when it comes to coaching. Even at the international level, we have seen the Mark Wayne Rooney's, the Paul Scholes uh, failing uh, to manage small clubs uh, like uh, the, the, the Derby counties, those small clubs there. We have seen Frank James Lampard, a legend, failing at his own former club, Chelsea. So how do you think that uh, you're going to do this to make sure that uh, you succeed in the coaching career? Because we have seen uh, uh, many players doing it when they are active players, but when it comes to coaching, things turn against them. Uh, first, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for the question. It is the best question ever since we started this interview. You know, me, before I was prepared, I wanted to be a coach. However much I did wonders, it was not a mistake. I concentrated in it. Others, since they retired, they, they thought maybe after retiring you will be a coach. Me, I have every notes of the coach that I passed through. So I was prepared. I know after football, the next thing is I want to be a coach. So I'm not going to blame those who, are, who, who have tried their best and they have failed. I cannot say they have failed. Football sometimes may refuse here. You will go sit and analyze where your mistake is. Then you come back again. So I will not blame Frank Lampard. I will not blame Rooney. They were having a lot of money, and maybe they were not prepared to be coaches. But after maybe aging, they thought of now, let me be a coach. This thing is all about preparing yourselves and preparing your notes. But you must trust the person you have appointed. Like we coaches, you lose only one game or two, they will start blowing you out. Federation of Uganda, as I've said before, the icons who are not seen in Ugandan football, and that, that has made names. Those ones who have played the AFCON in the 1972. So those ones, you must identify them and bring them out. Now AFCON is coming. So we must not trace them when they don't have the weight. Even clothes on them will not match on TVs. Whether we like it or we doesn't like it, they must have to appear. They must also comment like they are the buyers. Hmm? Now they're ambassadors of Afcons. This is how things are done. But if I'm banged, the whole, the, whole, the whole village will know that he was beaten. That is not how football is taken. So we should also concentrate and make sure we develop. We are the people now, the young upcoming coaches that they want to develop. The new generation data that is coming. The under-17s are coming. The under-20s are coming. So soon, if you are teaching good football and the team is performing well, don't be surprised. The, the, the Federation will trust one of you to come and coach maybe under 17 from nowhere because food, this football is not for anybody's father. If I'm doing well, Uganda must recognize me. If I'm not doing well, they also they must recognize me. Why? They must ask why I'm not doing well. If I'm doing well, they have to ask how I'm, how I'm making it to do it well. And that is how we are going to progress. I really want to thank the FUFA president. He's a very dynamic man. He has done a lot of things. I'm very happy for this uh, new uh, uh, match balls. Teams who are struggling for the, for, the, for, for the identity. You see, now we are going to have our own match balls, Zakayo, which is very okay. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm very happy. And I really want to be one of the, 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 the legends to launch it out at, at the Federation. Because ever since I started playing, things like this has never happened. So now it has happened as a coach. I am very happy. I want to use that ball. I want to use the ball to teach the boys to play good football and promote football in Uganda and Northern Uganda as well. 
Thank you so much. Thank you, the TV, for hosting me as the coach of Young Elephant. People at home, Young Elephant is everywhere in the world, should be happy. We shall fight that to make sure also Young Elephant comes in the league. That is the target. Over 13 years. By the way, one of the things that I did not tell the world was the league was relegated when I was a player 13 years ago. But I came and brought the team in Acholi Lan in the big league as a coach. So I think it is a lot of wonders to those who may not know. That one was Gul United as a player, but I brought the team as a coach. So I think something is cooking. I should not advertise, I should not blow my own trumpet, but God is the only way. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you uh, very much. Uh, viewers outside there, that was uh, Dennis Okot Ola for you. Veteran player, he has played for KCC, he has played for clubs like Kondo Parakabul, Villa, and the others. The Gul United, uh, Choli Promvis, the national team, Uganda Cranes. So, he has said it all. And, of course, uh, shouts out to, uh, he shouts out big outs to uh, engineer Moses Magogo, uh, the FUFA president for the Zakayo uh, project, which is giving balls. He says he's going to use the balls uh, to really make that uh, football happens at, uh, in national, uh, in, uh, at the national level and also in, in northern uh, Uganda. Of course, we are waiting uh, to get much from him. He was relegated, uh, the team was relegated 13 years back when he's a player. He has come back with it uh, when he has promoted it to another level of football. I've been Emron Onduparaka. Uh, the West Nile Pride, the West Nile Indian A, are there for you, for TTV uh, Uganda. Of course, we shall be getting for you more more updates. And I believe uh, these comments from our court, uh, Dennis Ola, will not leave you, the viewers there outside, as the same. Most especially, save for the future. If you're still doing some good active football, save for the future. Uh, do away uh, with those other encroachers on your money who may not really help when it comes to the future. For the legends, the national iconies, at least government should intervene and see that they are really okay now that we are going to have AFCON uh, in uh, East Africa and of course uh, 2027. These other icons who played here will also be identified in the cameras, but they need to be identified when they are looking healthy and good to motivate other young generation. That was that. Of course, we shall be getting later on with more and more updates about our sports. My name is Emron Onduparaka, the West Nile Pride. West Nile Indian A, Arua City is a big boy.